Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Tommy Mini Golf. Um, it occurred to me the other day that I also need to document all my oddities handheld wise and uh, why not? Why not? So unfortunately this is not my original from when I was a kid. Um, I got this back a few years ago and it worked fine but it's not been tested guys for a couple of years so you know across everything that it still works. When I when I turned it on the first time I had a few issues. Uh, some of the display parts were, were gone pretty much dead uh, but you could play it. You could play it you know. Uh, but yeah, what about it? Tommy, back in the day, early 80s, late 70s, was a real force to be reckoned with. Uh, I honestly believe history could have gone a different way uh, as to uh, as regards to Nintendo. They really were a force to be uh, to be reckoned with, and they 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 created so many original toys back then. They really did, and one of my favourites that I try to collect for, but they're often quite rare they're not crazy expensive but it's the pocketeer series massive in japan absolutely massive and there's hundreds of them but there's just a few i need that are a little bit difficult to get and they're not electronic they're just normally little tiny games in a plastic box that are based on uh um, you know like a magnetic thing or, or whatever but I'll start recording those as well so I think this came out as per usual no research I think this came out 81 82 possibly hazard a guess um, very much on the game and watch theme uh, like Nintendo I also had a few of those back in the day there's possibly no way I'm going to get those back, the way prices have gone. Although this has gone up as well quite a bit, bizarrely. Um, but yeah, so about 81, 82, I think. It also came with the little bracket at the back. So you could... You know, you might have been in a hotel somewhere. Put this on the bedside table and you can rock out. You've also got an alarm there, so that's pretty good. Um, I prefer this one than the Japanese version. The Japanese version is quite a flat blue, but I kind of like this. Come on, you sod. I kind of like this, um, this kind of green metallic sheen to it. I like that. I've always liked that. Uh, what we got on the back here? Have we got a date or anything? No, no, we don't, unfortunately. Um, and luckily, there were no batteries in this. The previous owner did the right thing and removed the batteries. We're going to try and fire it up. Uh, I've got a feeling uh, we might run into problems because it's been quite a few years. But let's uh, let's see what goes. Uh, don't forget, Grandstand were quite another major company, but they were a distributor for Tomy. They were one of the main distributors. I think also Parker Toys may be, at, or may have been at one time. I honestly can't remember. <clears throat> so, without further ado, we've got this rather random selection of rechargeables. They are fully charged. Often these old devices don't really get on with rechargeables. I'm sure somebody would understand the science of that, but I don't. So, it's so nice, isn't it, to have the battery, the battery compartment intact. That's often one of the first things to get lost when you're a kid. Right. It's dead. Did I put those in right? They seem to be in right, so what's the problem? Did say there was a very strong chance it wouldn't work. Oh, here we go. Uh, we got some life. Uh, it seems to be doing some random counting. 
Uh, what's happening there, folks? What is happening? No response at all. You see the little LCD golfer? He's really faded quite bad, so it is getting power to it, but uh, I don't understand why. Ah, okay. Maybe we need to clear it. Do you remember those things with a little pin? Uh, next challenge is, do I have a pin? A suitable pin in the office. Give me a second. Right, so... I managed to find one of these um, <clears throat> pins for the board, if that makes sense. I didn't really want to use a pen because I don't really want to mark it. Uh, so, let's just give this a go. Oh! Well, that still doesn't sound good. Oh, no, that looks good. That looks promising. Uh, so obviously that's your time. Oh, you've got an adjust there as well for the screen. Yeah, it's faded really badly, the little golfer. Now, when I was a kid, I used to be able to get a hole in one of this, but let's try and get a game going. I've got no idea how this works. So that must be, your time, or alarm. Right, so how do we get a game? Come on. So that's to set the alarm. <sighs> Hours, watch, game. It's still in. It's still setting the time. Okay, this is going to be difficult. Uh, so is it really, is it not working properly or something? Or what do you think? Ah, okay. Now I thought that adjusted the screen brightness. Maybe not. Aha! Okay. No, I'm not editing this video. You've got to be in it to win it. Right, so I think you time it. Unfortunately, the, 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 one of the clubs as well, a couple of the LCD panels have gone, so I think you time it right at the top. Oh my God, this really takes me back. That's not a bad shot. I used to be able to get a hole in one. Oh, <laughs> Go. Ah. Uh. Yeah, it, it always used to come down to the actual timing. I'd still rather play this than um, a Tiger Woods golf game. Oh, we're not going to make it. Oh, I thought he was going to hit the bird. Oh, into the trees. Oh, pretty good one, pretty good one. Why do I do that? Slightly too much power. Oh. 
Oh my god, come on. It's because I can't see. As soon as that disappears, I've got to shoot, so... I can't do it. I cannot do it, folks. Come on. Yeah, you've really got to get the timing right. You think it's quite simple with just the stages of the club going up and down, but in between that, the timing is kind of critical as well. So, uh, yeah. Mini golf from Tommy. Tommy were fantastic. Think about it. Um, Tommy Tronics, those 3D things you held up to your eyes. I've got quite, I've got a few of those now. Um, they made a really bizarre kids toy uh, based on like a water game. They had those. Not a lot of those have survived because all the seals and everything else have corroded and they leak. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else they did. But what I really need are the pocketeers. I'll, I'll show those. But yeah, so it's my intention as well to catalogue all the all the electronic handheld games. Um, you know, before we had cartridge-based systems and handhelds, uh, you know, the, the market was absolutely saturated with uh, LCD games. And what's really interesting, if you go back, back another year or two, and you start looking at the electromechanical games. I've got one of those. Now that'll be really interesting to see if that works. And that may be a grandstand game. Maybe one of their own. So yeah. Really pleased that works. Really, really pleased. And uh, you guys take care of yourselves, yeah? Bye-bye.